As the saying goes, you are in crippling debt. In desperation, you gamble your lost pocket change away. How dumb am I? <laughs> a man approaches you. He wants to play like a little game. And every time you win, you get $100. But every time you lose, he gets $100. I'm not playing this game already on crippling debt. Well, that would be the smart choice. However, comma, your protagonist. <laughs> the protagonist buff <laughs> applies to you. Uh, I have no choice in this, do I? You play this game, but you lose. Tell him that you don't have $100, so he just slaps you across the face. He says, this is the penalty if you don't have the money, but you don't have to pay the $100 back. Do you want to go again? What just happened? You play a couple of rounds and you lose every single one of them until you finally win and he gives you $100. What is happening? Why am I playing this game? He gives you his business card. He says, if you want to play more games for a chance to win large, give this phone number a call. With my extremely swollen face, I say, screw you. <laughs> but because life is not so easy, you end up calling calling him and wake in a large container-like room. How dumb is this character again? You're dressed in a green jumpsuit with a number 456. There are 455 other people who wake up in that same room. I get the last number. Now men in red overalls with masks that have circle, square, and triangles show up. Is there any X? No. It sounds like a PlayStation logo. The square man speaks welcome and congratulations. For the next six days, you will be playing six games in total. The winner will receive a huge sum of money. We apologize for gassing you, but it is required for security purposes. All of you are in a large amount of debt. We want to give you a chance at a new life. You hear a familiar voice from behind you. <laughs> Does he have green hair? <laughs> he says, wait, how is this allowed? You turn around to look at who's stupid enough to speak out of this part. And wouldn't you know it? It's Daniel, your childhood friend. And he has green hair and green jumpsuit. Wow, the color is totally clashing. Well, his green hair is more like a luscious, silky wave of silky, uh, whatever. <laughs> and the jumpsuit is just like a dark green. Very mm. different. <laughs> sure. I'm sure the animator will definitely distinguish it <laughs> and not use the exact same color. I hope they do. <laughs> I now the first game begins right away. You guys are all sent to a different room, which appears to be outside, but really isn't. It's all just a hologram. You see a huge doll and it's about a hundred meters away. I have slight phobia against dolls. Oh yeah, you hate dolls. Animal dolls, I'm fine. Human dolls, oh, they just freak me out. This one's cute. Really? It's four meters high. The first game is Ugunhakochi <laughs> Piyasumida, which is red light and green light. It's a traditional Korean game. When they don't look at you, you can go get closer to them. But when they look at you, you're supposed to stop. Mm -hmm. You see one man move quickly towards the doll. He wants to be first place. Now the doll sings and then it turns its head. This doll's body doesn't move the entire time. It's just the head spinning. I hate that. <laughs> That's like the worst nightmare. It's like this one type of horror movie that I do not watch. But that's not the important part. It is to me. <laughs> so the doll looks at the man moving and you hear a loud bang and the man falls. Suddenly there's a huge panic. People start to run away from the doll. Do you go with them? No. <laughs> Why? Because the game clearly suggests <laughs> that I shouldn't move when the doll is watching me. Good choice because everybody that ran away got shot and immediately there's just a pile of dead bodies behind you. What do you do? I'm not sure how advanced the camera and the AI system is, but I could hide behind someone. Is there someone really big? <laughs> that's actually really cool. I'll roll for that. Uh -huh. Okay, you get a five. Well, thankfully, that's a strategy one of the non-main protagonists uses. It was in the show, and therefore, you get through this first competition without a sweat. By the way, you had two lives in total. So just to let you know, you can die. I hate the dice. The game is over. People are angry, and they beg to be let out. They're like, please, we'll, we'll pay our debt. And the square masked man says, oh, no, we're not forcing you to be here. There, there is a rule that if the majority of you want to leave, you may. And everybody shouts, please let us out. And he says, OK, but before we do, we'll just tally up a couple scores. Two hundred and fifty five people have been eliminated. Wow. OK. A huge see through pig appears in the roof. Oh, like a piggy bank. Oh, my God. That's what it's called. I couldn't <laughs> think of the word. So I was trying to describe a huge piggy bank, a see through <laughs> piggy. I was like, gotta be like this plastic pig oh, well, that like you could put money in. A huge piggy bank appears at the top of the roof. 
it starts to fill up with cash, a total of $25.5 million. Oh, if more people die, I get more money. <laughs> and instantly, you can sense the tension changing within the room. People that were begging to be let out seems to be murmuring amongst themselves. Mm. Now, they let you vote. Since this is a democracy, if the majority says they want to go out, everybody will be sent out. I don't think I agree with the system of democracy in this case. We're a group of people who have incredible amount of debt, which means that we're all stupid. This is a community of dummies, desperate dummies. Okay. The most dangerous kind of people on the planet Earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I vote no. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, just by one vote, the majority wants to leave. Oh, thank God. So you leave. But Oh my god, I, had, I never had a choice, didn't I? Debt collectors follow you, your family needs money for medical bills, and when your life is still hell, you think to yourself, anything would be better. And then another card appears in your doorsteps. You call it again and you go back into the squid game. I'm just sitting here blinking and things are happening <laughs> out of my control. You are sent to the next game room. The square man tells you to choose from four different shapes, circle, square, star, and an umbrella. Which shape do you choose? Okay, there's an umbrella. So I'm guessing the rest are also tools of some kind. You hear Daniel talking to one of the girls and she says she snuck into one of the vents last night and she smelt a scent of of sweetness from their preparation room. Is it Pokey? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's, it's Pokey, isn't it? I don't know. I'll go with square. Okay, you go to the square line. Mm. All the doors open. And it turns out you're playing Pokey game. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> The Dargona game. Umbrella is impossible, guys. Umbrella is very difficult. It's a traditional game played in Korea where you have to use a needle to crack the shape you have chosen. The more convoluted the shape, the harder it is. Can we attack others? <laughs> is this your plot? Just start stepping on different trackers. Everyone dies. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be successful unless you get a one. But if you want to eliminate that chance, you got to figure out what the main protagonist did. Did he lick it or something? I don't know. If I were him, I wouldn't use spit. I would use piss. <laughs> the acidity will melt in much more efficiently. <laughs> is that your guess? Yeah. That's not what the protagonist did. Of course it is because it's stupid. Uh, <laughs> he licked it. Oh, come on! <laughs> There's 107 people remaining. After the game, you guys all return to your original gathering place. Two people get into a fight over food. One person gets punched just the wrong way and he dies. And we all stand there thinking what's going to happen. I mean, the killer's going to be disqualified. Circle men come in and they just take the body and another Another hundred thousand gets added See? to the pile. <laughs> Elimination always counts. It's not just within the game. The night is coming. It seems like people are starting to gather in groups. What do you do? No, I don't I don't join any groups. Daniel said, hey. You fucking idiot. <laughs> How'd you pass law school? Do you want to not die together tonight? Where people are starting to gather in groups? I mean, you're a guy with the green hair, right? What's wrong with green hair? You kind of stand out. Everyone probably has black hair since it's green. You have blue hair. As soon as the light goes off, while everyone's still quite kind of blind without any adjustment to the darkness, I slide under the bed and just myself in there and hide. You're gonna have to roll a uh, four or above. <sighs> okay, you got a three. I hate that dice! <laughs> the light turns off and panic sets in. Riots of groups start fighting each other. People that are in groups manage to fend off group of thugs, but people that are alone are targeted. 80 people remain. And I'm dead. Well, you lose a life. You have one life left. Oh. <laughs> Did I overthink this? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. We'll find out because the next game, they tell you to form a group. Now, you will need one of these three characters in order to win. You can choose one, a grandpa, two, an edgy girl, or three, a thug. Edgy girl and thug, I get. Why is a grandpa here? What do you mean, why is he here? Uh, how old is the grandpa? Is it like, he looks like he's like 80. Why would he be here? <laughs> he says he has a tumor in his head, so mm -hmm. he might as well make as much money possible for his family or okay, something. Okay, that's kind of sweet. So, what do you choose? Well, obviously, grandpa. Grandpa's not going to help with the game. Which makes me think that Grandpa's going to help the game. <laughs> Why is Grandpa here? Okay, I'm going to think it simply this time and go with the thug. And that was the wrong choice. You should have gone with the Grandpa because we are playing Judarigi, Tug of War. You are all chained to one single rope. And if you manage to pull the other team far enough, they will fall to their deaths. No, then I should have gone with the thug. <laughs> you should have picked the grandpa because of his age and the amount of experience he has in the game of tug of war. That grandpa is shady as hell. The grandpa is great. Why is he here? I love the grandpa. He shouldn't right? be here. <laughs> is grandpa the main mastermind? I cannot say. He's, he's the president snow of Hunger Games. I don't know what you're talking about and I will remain silent until you figure out what to do for this tug of war. Um, um, I just tell everyone, yeah. I hate you all. We're all going to die. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs>
I'm zero clue. How are we gonna win this? Well, what's some tug of war strategies that you know? There's no strategy involved in tug of war. There is a couple. Yeah, pull. How? As hard as you can. <laughs> you don't have any guesses? No. Well, that means that you are going to have to roll a five or a six. <laughs> Damn. I cannot stress how important this video is. It's Squid Game. It's number one trending on Netflix. If you die here, it might be really bad for all of us. I press the roll button. <laughs> Roll it again. Sorry, you get a one. All right, so let me tell you what had to happen. You were supposed to pick the grandpa, and he was going to say this. Listen, I was never a strong kid, but I never lost a tug of war game back in my day. The strategy is simple. As soon as the game begins, don't fight, but just lean back with your feet firmly planted to the ground and wait 10 seconds. Once they start to feel frustrated that you can't move, we will start pulling all of them quickly in a quick rhythm. And that's how they won. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. Anyway, you lost your life. But wait, ding, 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 a bonus point. Wow, where did this come from? I don't know, desperation. Well, <laughs> you get one extra life just for good luck. For content, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Will Elias survive the last three remaining rounds? Will Daniel continue to give Elias life just so that he can get past this and then kill him off at the last second? Bring the guillotine. Let me end the suffering of life. <laughs> See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.